It's estimated right now there are approximately 800 homeless families in our community. That means those families have children that also are without a home. Tonight we want you to meet a single mom with two kids living without a house and how the interfaith community is now opening doors to help. It's a weeknight at Allisonville Christian Church, and there's a flurry of activity in the kitchen. Volunteers have prepared all sorts of tasty food. Chicken and noodles. Dinner is almost ready, but church members aren't the only ones giving thanks for this meal. We're so thankful and grateful. 37-year-old Joy Smith and her two kids are also here, but they'll be at church the entire night. It's been really rough. Joy and her kids are homeless, no job, no permanent place to live. At one point I was like, oh, I'll never be homeless. Never say never because now I'm here. Joy's family is getting help from the Interfaith Hospitality Network. Do you like chicken fingers? Yes. Yeah, they're good. 35 congregations around Indianapolis open their doors for homeless families all year long. They get home-cooked meals, they get their private rooms. So everything that they would need to make them comfortable and at home, if you will, is provided at the congregations. On Sunday morning, Allisonville Christian Church uses this particular room as an adult Sunday school class. But during the week, there's a homeless family of four living in this room. Joy's family has a different room. We try to make it our home away from home. Give it our own little style. Her family sleeps here. Then in the morning, her children will go to school while she looks for work. During the day, I'm constantly doing, putting my resume online looking for jobs, or I'll go out looking for jobs, see who's hiring. Hi, Jada knows the challenges. She and her two kids used to be homeless. I was here for like four months trying to find a job, trying to find something to do so I can get my kids into a home and so I can find somewhere to be stable for a while. Now, the organization behind the hospitality needs more Indianapolis congregations to participate. That way, more homeless families can benefit and be a success story like Jada who now has a job, a place to live, and a message. Just keep going, because I did it and I made it. I'm grateful for these people. I'm so grateful for this church. A congregation where all are welcome, all are appreciated, and all are loved, whether you have a home or not. This organization needs five more congregations to participate, so if you'd like to help, there's the phone number to call. It's 317 261 1562. You also see the uh, website there. We've got a link to it on WTHR.com. Yeah, sometimes people just need a little help to get right back That's right. on track. That's right. Just a little bit, you know? you know, 30 to 60 days. They find a job and then they find a place to live and they move on. That's right. So it's a safety hammock. Yeah, Thanks you for bet. showing us mm -hmm. that, Scott. Thanks, Scott.